Hello guys and thanks for watching. Um, let me introduce myself again. I'm Juliet Scott 11 and I'm going to be taking you still through the basics of Microsoft Word. Remember, Microsoft Word is under a suit which is called Microsoft Package. Uh, and you know what a software suit is, I guess so. Uh, so uh, this time still around we are looking at Microsoft Word and this time we are going to be looking at the basic editing features of Microsoft Word. The basic editing features of Microsoft Word. How can you edit your text? How can you change the appearance or the look of your text? Okay, that's what we are going to be looking at this time. So just sit back and watch and learn where you possibly get a book and note so the basic editing features in in microsoft word uh, basically we have bolding italicizing we have underlining font face or font type we have font size we have font grow and shrink we have font color we have strike through we have superscript and subscript and we have what they call the change case feature. So all, uh, all, all these are features in Microsoft Word which are used to edit. They are commands and they are under the home tab in our ribbon under the font command or the font commands. Okay, so let us start with an example of some text here. Let me say... Uh, the corona uh, coronavirus is deadly okay the coronavirus is deadly so stay and learn uh, from from home Wow, that's good. The coronavirus is deadly, so stay and learn from home. So this is our text. Assume you have been given a paper. They start telling you, bold, do this and this, do this and this, do this and this. So let us look at number one. We are going to look at bold. Bold, and we are going to see what bold does. Okay, uh -huh. this is bold. Let me underline that text. Sorry, let me use this one here. So we're going to look at bold. What does bold do? This is what bold does. Remember, to edit anything in Microsoft Word or any word processing software, you have to first highlight a particular text, paragraph, or sentence that you're going to highlight. And that is done by holding down your left button on the mouse. Don't release it or don't unhold it. Then you drag going up to where you want to stop editing. Okay. When you reach your end point, you have to release that button. So when you highlight, this is what happens or this is what appears. So after there, you go to where you see this B. It is telling us to bold. Uh, my text has been bolded. Let me make this one a bit bigger. Are you seeing? It is not regular. It has been bolded. So it is a bit strong and thicker. Okay? That is what they call bolding. And when you bold, when you come back here, this command gets a switch color which is orange. Showing you that bold is active on a particular text. You look here, it is active. When I go back here, are you seeing when I put my cursor here? It is showing me bold is not active. When I put here, it is showing me you have bolded your text. Okay, that is what they call bolding. And when I switch off bolding, bolding goes off. When I switch it back, it goes on. So many people get disturbed. After that, whatever they type goes back to bold. But no, don't get disturbed. Go back. Place your cursor in front and click. Go back and switch off the bold and start typing again. So you'll be typing normally without bolding. Okay, let me change this font. Uh, no, okay, let's just go on. So that's called bolding. Two, when we go back here, 
we are going to look at italicizing. Are you seeing now? It is still alerting me that I'm bolding, but I don't want to bold my other text I'm going to be typing in. So I have to switch off the bold, then I go to another learning area. So I want to go to italics, okay? To italicize. 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 That is italicize. Uh, let me copy this text still because it's what I want to edit. Let me paste it here. We shall learn about the pasting and let me underline this one here. This is what we are under. Let me for a moment. Let me just change the line spacing to one so that I get more. So italicizing, italicize spelling, italy size so that is italicizing so i highlight still my text i go here where you see this i i it means italicize or italics so the good thing in word when you put a mouse against what you want it appears giving you what it does and a shortcut for that feature or for that command so when i click here this is italicizing wow my text has been italicized. That means it is slanting going to the right. So that's what they call italicizing. So I again don't be confused. The moment you continue typing, your font is italicized. So that means you have to go back and switch off the italicize and you type normally. That's what they call italicizing. So this is what it looks like. That is italicizing and this is bolding. Okay. All right hope you are learning let's go to another one so the other one we want to look at is underline underline under underline yeah underline uh -huh. underline so underline let me first do this so that people get to know it properly sorry it was it okay underline so underline still let me assume i have my text the coronavirus that's the topic uh-huh now I'm, i want to underline this text underline is basically putting a line below or underlining remember when we used to write our headings you used to underline that heading underline the heading when you get a point and you want to remember it properly underline that point so that is called underlining so i highlight still my text I come where you see this U and a line below. That is underline. Okay. That is under underlining. So some people are usually confused. We have different types of underlining. So this is single underlining. Let me assume I have another text still. I want to underline again. Uh -huh. Underline. You may be told to underline double underline or underlining with two lines or different types of lines so don't get confused you just come here when you see this one it's a drop down showing you there are more options below so don't this time click you click where you see this pointing down we have different formats of underlining are you seeing as i scroll through my text is changing that's the underline we have the dotted long dotted we have the dot dash underline we have dot dot dash underline so many people are usually asked after they tell you double underline or they may tell you dot underline so just click here zigzag huh? wave underline huh? are you seeing that's a different type of underlining let me try it again in another way let me paste uh -huh. let me change the underlining this time I'm going to use double underline. Uh, let me go again. Let me paste again still my text. And this time I'm going to dot underline. So still remember, the moment you don't switch off the underline and you continue typing, your work is going to be underlined. So remember to go back and switch it off. When you switch it off, the orange light disappears. So that is called underlining hope we are learning okay another one that we are going to be looking at is font face 
font face or font type font face uh, font face okay so font face font face is basically used to change the appearance of your fonts or your text we have different types of fonts okay so in a paper they usually like to ask change to font face area change to font face this and this so my friend don't get confused if you're asked to change to any font face type so that's what you have to do uh, what you do is for example still we're having our text coronavirus uh -huh. we are going to look at the different font types let me switch off the bold bold is off so uh, highlight my word I come here where you see this one the moment I put my cursor again it's show it's showing me change the font face so there are different types of font faces or font types that's one uh, let me paste again let me try to change to another one times new roman they usually like that very much in papers let me paste another one i'm going to change this one to comic sun ms okay let me change to another font size i mean font type oh, sorry oh, we have uh, uh there are many very many as you scroll down there are many and many it depends on what you have been told this is called uh, engravers mt we have uh there are very many we have franklin gothic heavy we have uh geometry we have uh gold stout there are very many so these are the different font types okay so it depends in paper they usually ask change font type to times new roman okay that means you have two options let me assume this is your text uh, they tell you change your font type to times new roman so you can come here and you scroll down and you look for times these letters are in alphabetical order all these font names are in alphabetical order so the font name you are asked is what you look for times new roman so this is my times new roman and this is the way it appears are you seeing oh alternatively they can tell you change to area you can just type in the font name as it has been given to you area it will just come then you press enter it will automatically change to that font face or font type so this can be called font face or font or font type okay let us look at another one hope we are learning we have the font size we have the font font size okay font size okay remember my bold was still on but i have to change it then i change to a font which we all can use uh, let me try to still yeah font size so i'm still having my word the coronavirus let me change this one from algerian to calibri like that uh -huh. try to make it a bit bigger uh, that is zooming in and zooming out so this is the coronavirus is deadly so this is how we change the font size you can change the font size by automatically highlighting here okay different font sizes but the examiners are at times funny these are the ones which microsoft can give you let me take it like that they are the constant ones but you can enter a figure manually they may tell you use font size 17 but when you come here you don't see 17 they can tell you use 35 it's not here they can tell you use 11.2 it's not here so what do you do okay let me assume this is my text still uh -huh. switch off the bold so they may tell you use font size 13.9 okay this is what you do you can just come here highlight this 11 delete it and put in 
five. Then you press enter. Okay. Some people are noted when the people are examining, they usually come. The moment you place a cursor in a word, it will show you that here used eighteen. So here I've used thirteen point five. I can still change. It's up to I think two hundred, if I'm not mistaken. I can change to uh ninety one. Are you seeing? But when I go here I don't have ninety one. Have you got me? But that's too big. Let me go back to 14, the one which is usually asked. So that is called font, font size. Okay, you can just delete and type in the font you want manually. Okay, another feature we're going to look at still is font grow and font shrink. Font grow and font shrink. Okay. Me put off this font grow and font shrink okay let us go to our new page font grow and font shrink so what does it do this is a funny feature which gradually increases the font size and decreases the font size so grow is to become big shrink is to become small so i can just highlight my word i click here so this is called grow font and this is called shrink font shrink means i'm becoming smaller and grow means i'm becoming bigger okay so don't use the font grow or shrink unless when you are told so the, i keep on tapping or clicking the more i click the more my font grows and the more i link shrink the more my font becomes smaller so this is shrink and this is grow hope we are okay there so let us look at another feature which is called font color wow font color font color oh, font color i like this very much because students learn to play around and they want to play around with colors, colors, font colors. Color is basically the way you want your word to appear. Basically, those ones doing art, for example, when you go to paint red, paint blue, paint green. So it depends on what you have been asked. They may tell you, change the font color to blue, change the font color to yellow. So this is what happens. I have my text here, the coronavirus. I'm going to decorate it. So. I want to highlight the only and change the font color. I will come here where you see A with a color underlining. I told you, when you see this one against A, it means there are more options down. There are more options down. So, I may be asked to use another color. I can change to blue. Okay. I can change to... Uh, this one, I see these are different font colors. Yellow, I can change to. Ah, there are many, many, many. So, you have to note, some people are funny, or some examiners, they usually set, instead of telling you, use red, they will tell you, use red ascent to. Okay? Those are different color variations. So we have red ascent. The moment you put your cursor, if it's red, place that color where you see red. It will give you the type of ascent you have been asked. They may tell you, use olive green ascent 3. We have olive green ascent 3, lighter 80. It depends. So the more you put your cursor, it will give you the different types of variations. So this is green. I can say stay at home. I can make this one all red. Like that. So that is what they call font color. You can do multiple editing. You can bold, underline, uh, italicize, change color at the same time using one similar word. Or depending on what you have been told. Uh -huh. Let us go on. Let us go on. Hope we are learning basic editing. Uh, we have what they call strike through strike through uh, strike 
strike through okay strike through let us like that what does strike through do assume you had uh, uh, something selling 1000 sorry let me switch off there ah. okay control v no i don't want this let me assume you had something selling 1000 okay and you want to show people that this thing was reduced from 1000 to uh, 500 okay you tell people this was 1000 but now it is 500 so they may tell you to strike through that means you're going to cross this one the 1000 and you show people that it's no longer this price it is this price so when you come still here under home font you see where you see abc are you seeing the strike through it is striking a line and it's alerting me it is no longer this price it is this price so this is straightforward but some examiners still are funny not funny they have a lot of knowledge they may ask you to double strike through and someone when you strike through here it is showing you one line but they may tell you to double strike line that means they want to strike using two lines so my friends don't get confused when you ask to do that just come here at the edge of the font tab on the right bottom click okay after highlighting your word remember so we have strike through okay are you seeing it is showing me i'm striking through once but i have double strike through are you seeing it is using two lines are you seeing but when i just click here it will give me one line okay so you come here switch off the strike through go to double strike through then you say okay are we together so that means you have double striked through hope we are learning now it was 1000 now it is 500 let's do that one more time let's do that one more time i saw it you highlight after highlighting you come to the edge of your font tab you look for double strike then you say okay are we clear wow that's very good hope you are learning and hope you are telling other people to subscribe and learn more and more and more now we are going to another one which is super stress superscript and sub script okay that's what this is what it does let me first paste it here uh, let me first paste it here like this super strike oh i didn't switch off all this let me switch off underline uh no this one sorry uh, i don't want the underline let me switch it off okay so uh let us look at the super script and the sub script okay so many are asked to superscript and subscript but some are some get confused just as we use them in mathematical features superscript is basically power and subscript is base is it okay so x power something that is superscript then x log 2 that is for example subscript that is placing a letter on top or at the bottom of any text for example you were used to be gi given x oh, let me switch off the bold and underline uh, x let me make it capital x x power 2 okay like that so what i want to put in power is what i highlight after highlighting two i come to super script are you seeing let me make this one bigger so that people can clearly see it properly like that uh-huh let me even increase the fonts by shrinking i mean by growing the font so this is x to power two are we together 
x to power 2 uh, let me say plus sorry x to power 2 switch off the script to write again normally plus a switch back the script then you type open brackets 3 or 4 uh, 